Wind is invisible energy that flows all around us. And just as we can harness water to create power, we are learning more and more every day how to make better use of this invisible source of energy. My name's Auburn Cooperman, and I'm an aeronautical researcher, which uh, means that I carry out tests in a wind tunnel. Uh, I'm looking at wind turbine blades. What I do in a day when I'm carrying out tests is I'll put a model in the tunnel. Um, I'll look at different wind speeds and different positions for that model, and then I'll try to find out what the forces on the model are. There's a really sense of satisfaction of accomplishing something when you work with a physical model and, and take data and finally get a result that's based on uh, your efforts with a real big piece of equipment. The idea of the windmill has been around for a long time, but there are a lot of improvements that can still be made to them. Aerodynamics is the study of how wind or other fluids like water moves over a shape. Um, it's really interesting to me because I, I both get to play with math and numbers and also it describes real objects, real physical objects. There are jobs at universities uh, like what I'm doing, basic research. There are uh, national laboratories that also do research. Um, there are companies that need engineers for blade design, for their new wind turbines, for their products, um, and for building all the new turbines. I really wanted to use the skills that I'd learned for something that would benefit everybody to improve the environment, so I went into clean energy. Engineering might appeal to people who are really interested in problem solving, doing puzzles, making, uh, getting the answers, and uh, playing with numbers and working with math. If you're interested in working on wind turbines and aerodynamics, the courses you really need are a lot of math, uh, from algebra up through calculus, and some physics courses especially. In college, you probably major in engineering, specifically aeronautical engineering. Um, and from there, it's, it's up to you if you want to do uh, basic research, you probably need to go on to a PhD. If you want to work um, more with a company, then uh, you can probably go straight out of college. There are going to be all sorts of jobs in improving wind turbines, building them, um, building them more efficiently and cleanly, and getting them out to new environments. So there are definitely going to be jobs in the wind industry. It's a growing field and there will be a need for a lot more people.